Go to your mats. Get your feet hip width apart. Second toe aligned with center of ankle. So big toes turning a little bit. Go on your backs. Hands are alongside your body. You're going to start with a neutral spine. So find that gap between the floor and the lower back. Now press your shoulders down towards the floor. Don't let your ribcage poke out too much as you do this. Inhale to expand your ribcage up. And exhale to drop the ribcage. Push the abdominal wall towards the spine, but the spine stays lifted. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale, reinforce your neutral. So see how narrow can you make your body. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drop the lower back towards the floor. Tilt your pelvis, but don't let your glutes contract. Inhale in your imprint. Exhale to push the abdominal wall even more towards your spine and the spine more towards the mat. Inhale, hold. Exhale, try to close the space between rib cage and hip bones. If you can just make this space a little shorter, inhale, hold. Exhale, try to get your tailbone to turn extra towards the ceiling, but the bum is not working at all. This is all abs, inhale. On your exhale, with control, go into your neutral. So just soften the contraction of your abdominals, but keep it active. Inhale, try to expand your rib cage sideways this time. And exhale, reinforce your neutral. Close the rib cage, close the abs. Inhale, expand sideways. Exhale, close. On the next one, you're going to go towards your imprint. Inhale, expand the rib cage. Exhale, start tilting your pelvis all by the power of your abs. Get that tailbone towards the ceiling. Check that the knees are still parallel. Inhale in your imprint. Exhale, reinforce. Belly button in, spine in towards the floor. Inhale. On this exhale, keep your imprint open your shoulders. Inhale, hold. One last exhale to reinforce. Now find an imprint with which you're comfortable with. You're going to pick up one leg towards your tabletop, second leg towards your tabletop. Keep this strong imprint and now just check that your belly button is not bulging out. So it might be that your spine is pressing but your abs are pushing. So get them down towards the floor. From here, right leg is going to work. You're going to keep this 90-90 degree angle and you're going to tap the floor with your tiptoes and you're going to come back to that tabletop. We are doing it slowly on purpose because I want you to try and keep that very strong imprint position all through this leg action. So the motion is only in your hip. The hip is hinging to tap the floor and return, but nothing changes on your lower back. If you need to, to have more feedback, really use your hands either on your belly button or on your lower back to make sure that contact is staying. Think about not letting go as you go down and just reinforcing as you go up. We have two more on this leg. And just one more. Now, find your double leg tabletop, inhale. On that exhale, you're going to reinforce your imprint and get the left leg to start tapping the floor and back towards your tabletop. Uh, try to keep the 90-90 degree angle, especially if you're struggling. Don't try and tap closer to your bum, need be, just don't touch the floor. If on the opposite you're doing really well and you feel like you'd like more of a challenge, then do open that 90 degree angle and tap a little bit further away from your body. To be honest, I think no one should be tapping further away. I feel like there's a lot of work to be done with the rib cage and hips just with the 90 degree angle of the knee. But you know, I trust you. If you feel like you're, you're managing, then go a little further. We have three more on this leg. Really be honest with yourself. Don't let that lower back lift a millimeter off the floor. Last one is coming. Double leg tabletop. Now interlace your hands and get them behind your head. Make sure you can comfortably take the weight of your head in your hands. You're going to inhale to prepare, exhale to come up. 
This is your chest lift position, which means we should be in a neutral spine. But if this is too hard for you, if you're struggling to control, please carry on with your, with your imprint spine. If you're with me, go to neutral. Now, legs. Both legs go towards the ceiling. If you can, if this is a problem for your flexibility, instead of lowering the leg, work with a bent knee. If you're with me, neutral spine, leg straight. Start with your right leg. Get it to go slowly down and slowly up. Now, whichever spine position you have, imprint or neutral, make sure it stays absolutely the same whilst you drop the leg and whilst you get it up. Very often, if you have a neutral, people increase the arch here and then they increase a little extra to pick the leg back up. If that's happening, please reconsider and use an imprint. We're going slowly on purpose, so there's no momentum, which means your hip flexors should not be dying. If they are dying, again, bend the knees. Now, are your shoulder blades off the floor? I don't think my ones are completely, but we should be trying. We have one more with this leg. Now, both legs up wherever they are, and start working with the left. Drop it, and up. Now, another thing to check is that we have the temptation of adding a little bit of a turnout. So please do a check and find a lovely parallel. I know you use heaps of turnout in ballet, but actually strengthening your parallel will make your turnout more stable. We have three more with this leg. And two more. Last one. Both legs stay up. You're going to drop the right, reinforce your spine, whichever spine that is, and now you're going to swap them in the air. So your legs should be crossing each other at a 60 degree angle, 45 degree angle. The lowest they cross, the hardest it is. So choose something that's challenging for you. It might also be that your legs are changing at a 90 degree angle, vertical. So that's fine as well, as long as you're feeling challenged. We just have two more. Now, left leg goes to the floor, head and shoulders go to the floor, arms open in a T position, palms towards the ceiling. You're going to flex the right foot to the ceiling. Again, if this is a problem, you just bend your knee a little bit. We're going to go for your leg cycles. Two slow ones, cross the midline. Don't let the body tilt sideways. Start making your way down. Then find a parallel position. Opposite diagonal. Open up on the opposite side. Don't let the weight of the leg take your body with it. And now use your inner thigh to come back up. One more slow one, cross. And parallel and out and top. We're gonna do fast ones. Make your circle smaller so your body doesn't move around. Also, left leg's pointing away really, really strongly. That's one of the things that makes you not move. So let's cross and around. Cross, around. Cross, around. Two more. Last one. Let's reverse the circle, open your leg as far out as you can before your body moves, bring it down, cross the midline, in here really fight to keep the bum towards the floor, opposite shoulder weight towards the floor, and find the ceiling, and repeat a slow one, check that your supporting leg is still in parallel, find the ceiling, and go for the fast ones, out and around and out and around and really try and find a moment where you stop in the ceiling one more now you're going to point that foot take it to tabletop take it towards the floor left leg tabletop first and ceiling depending on your flexibility and flex make sure you get that right leg really pushing this should be so much so that your hip flexor gets a touch of a stretch. From here you're going to cross the midline. 
You're gonna go down, find a parallel, and in this parallel, try and get both hips to extend out of your body. Open your legs sideways and back up. And one more slow one, cross, and go down, and go out, and up. We're gonna go for fast ones. Out, and around, and out, and around. And you know, it's quite indulgent to do a big circle. So please do it as small as you need to, to make your central body super stable. And let's swap directions. Open as wide as you can. And now go down. And cross. And ceiling. And out. Down, 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 down. And cross, stay in this cross position for a little bit. Push that hip towards the floor. And ceiling and fast ones. Out. And sharp around. Out. Around. Out. Around, just two more. Last one. And stay up. Point your foot. Bring, this is a not transition. <laughs> Bring the right one into tabletop, drop the left one into tabletop, connect knees and ankles. Find a neutral everyone here for me. We're going to do a supine spine twist. Keep your knees uh, bent for me, even though you might be able to do the straight leg variation. Now let's all take our legs towards the right. Now have a look at your knees, make sure that they are leveled. Opposite bum leaves the floor, opposite shoulder blade is fixed on the floor. Use a strong abdominal connection to bring you back towards the center. And alternate sides. Take your legs towards the left. Have a look at the knees. Check that they are leveled. Don't let your lower back hyperextend. Don't go there. Keep a connection and then increase that connection to come to the center. Now, because we are doing um, a bent knee variation, it might be that you don't really need to use your abs to do this because you're not... You're not in a difficult position. So I want you to use them on purpose. I want you to really think that the thing initiating the motion back is belly button to spine. Now, if you want a little bit of a reality check, hands to the ceiling, palms face each other, shoulder blades are on the floor, but middle back is on the floor as well, so don't let your chest puff out. And legs to the right and Push your abs to the center and left. Don't let opposite shoulder blade lift the floor and center. Let's do two more or however many you need to be even. Lovely. Everyone meet me in double leg tabletop. Hold behind the thighs. Come up and let's go for our abdominal block. We're going to start with that teaser warm up that we've been using. Then we're going to do prep, one, two, three. Today, let's try and do two repetitions with bent legs, two repetitions with straight legs on all of them. So I'll talk you through it a little bit, but hopefully by now you know what we're talking about. Okay, on the warm-up, let's go a little bit wider than, the, than hip width, the kind of shoulder width. You're going to hold, and now you are going to allow your body to sag back. Now think about that, that rib cage to hip connection. Think about curving your lower back more. Try and decrease this space and your belly button in. So don't let it go into your middle back. Keep your shoulder blades pushing down towards the floor as you curve a little bit extra just there on your abdominals. From here, you're gonna start the motion on your tailbone. The tailbone is, start, is gonna start to point towards the floor. That's gonna lead to a lower back extension and then middle back extension then shoulder blades together, ribcage is still down though, and then neck. And now you found that lovely symmetric V, or attempting to be symmetric. Motion is gonna start again on your tailbone as you wrap the tailbone forward, let your lower back curve, belly button to spine, ribcage down, and you find that flexion of the lower back. And start extending from your tailbone, and then middle back, and then neck. And again, tailbone, curve the lower back. Make sure the shoulder blades are still pushing down. And one more, 
find that neutral lower back. Ribcage is still under, shoulder blades connect, and extend towards the neck. Now let's take one leg tabletop, second leg tabletop. Let's do the prep. Um, two repetitions bent legs, two repetitions straight legs. Arms are parallel to floor. You're gonna tuck and put your lower back down to waistband level. Reinforce that tuck and find that extended spine. And tuck and down, tuck and up, extend legs. Tuck down, tuck up, tuck down, tuck up. These are one, only upper body moves. And down and up. Oh my God, I said bent legs. Bend your legs <laughs> and up. And now stretch the legs. Down and up. One more. Down and up. And bend your legs. Drop the arms. Legs are going to go down. Arms are going to go up. And now opposite. Arms down. Legs up. Try and keep a straight lower back. Extend your legs. And open. And close. Open. Close. Bend the knees. Arms are up. Legs are going to go down. Top body is going to go down. And down. And up. One more. Down. Up. Legs extend. Down. Up. And down. And now stay up. Woo. Stay up. Extend that lower back. Connect the shoulder blades. Stretch your arms. Look up. I think that was okay. Okay, spinal articulation. Let's do the open leg rock up. We're gonna hold one leg out. I find that leggings are really sleepy, so find some skin, it's easier. Open one leg out, second leg out, and now find that straight spine we worked in the teaser. Try and sit over your sits bones, so the legs are together and down. If your flexibility doesn't allow you to bend your knees, just choose up one position and stay with it. So arms stay straight all the time. Legs stay wherever they are. To go back, you're gonna curl your lower back, and you're gonna rock, and then you're gonna come forward and use an extension to lock you in that top position. And curve, go back. Curve, Ooh, am I? No. We need more, more momentum, and up. The first few ones might be tricky, because you're figuring out how much momentum do I need, how much muscle activation do I need. So give yourself permission to fall <laughs> backwards or forwards. Both are common. Um, you won't get hurt. Your hands will save you, so don't worry too much. We have two more. On the last one, you're gonna meet me in the top position. And stay. Now try, without overextending your lower back, try and give me some more turn out of your legs. More shoulder blades down and connected. Inhale, and exhale to bend. We're gonna go for the jackknife now. I just wanna tell you that someone has the microphone on. So have a look, and if that's you, please turn it off. On our backs, hands go alongside our body. One leg tabletop, second leg tabletop. Both legs towards the ceiling. Bent leg variation is always here for you. If you need to use your hands to support your lower back and your bum, please do. From here, we're gonna drop to a 45 degree angle. You're gonna inhale to find that 90 again. And now you're gonna keep this 90 degree angle between thighs and upper body as you wrap yourself. Legs go overhead, but legs stay parallel to floor. Again, feel free to support yourselves if you need to. From here, you're going to tap the floor, and then you're going to use your hip extensors to go up towards the ceiling. As straight as you can. Now, from here, keep that knee super straight. Keep your feet over your head as you start rolling your spine down to the floor. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Don't let momentum attack you. Find a 90, find a 45. And up and over, find that parallel. 
Now be a little bit faster here. Tap up. Whee. It also means you need more control. And then slowly make your way down. And it might be that you're going a little faster. That's fine. Use a rhythm that suits you. And seven. And roll over. And tap, extend. And really think about your glutes pushing here. And go slowly down. So much abdominal work here. Shoulders are open towards the floor. Everyone meet me at a 45 position. We're going to do a slow one with our hands on our back. Go to 90. Roll over. In this rollover position, you're going to put your hands on your lower back. Now you're going to tap and you're going to go as close to vertical as your hands allow you to. Feel this vertical and now if you can, slowly put your hands back down on the floor and try and keep that vertical. And from there, start slowly putting your spine down, trying for your feet to not go too far from your head. And down. And let's do one faster one to just get it out of your system. And up and over. Tap up and down. Bend your knees, hold and come up. There's still a microphone on, just saying. Okay, let's do the boomerang. You're gonna cross your legs on top of each other. Use turnout. And you know, it's a really simple position, so think about wrapping your hips bones down and towards your bum. Point the ankle, the toes. Looks good, but don't use too much of those. And let's find that roll up position where we find that curve of the lower back and we extend our arms. Arms should be parallel to floor. You're gonna inhale. Oh, you're actually gonna roll your spine down. You're gonna keep this connection Strong, which means you're gonna find yourself in this rocking position where everything's locked. From here, hands are gonna go to the floor as you roll over. Find that parallel position between legs and floor as you swap. On your way back up, prepare for a teaser. Find the connection and go up. Now, arms go down and around, extend legs to the floor and settle back into that roll up position. Need a little bit more space here. And inhale to prepare. Exhale. Find that strong connection and roll to your lower back. Stop there for a second because this is when you know you have the right connection. And then go over. Swap. Prepare for that teaser. Come around and now rotate. Extend, legs go down. And roll up position. And back, curl, and go over, swap, and roll down, teaser, go around, extend, and parallel. Two more fast ones, and then we're going to do something that I was going to say funky, but it's not. The face is just dead. And <laughs> let's go. And go, and over, and swap. And come up, teaser, extend, legs go down, and arms parallel to the floor. Last one like this, down, over, swap. Keep that strong abdominal connection, opening through your teaser, extend, and down. Now you're going to stop at that position where we roll and we have our lower back on the floor. So roll, 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 stay here. Now I want you to rock here a little bit, back and forth, because your lower back is a curve, so you should be able to rock there. It is a bit of a killer, but don't let your lower back extend. We have three more, and then we're going to get out of it with a full boomerang, and go over. And so, this is the last one, make it perfect, find that beautiful teaser. Roll, and teaser. And now open your arms, rotate. Uh, hands further from the floor as you extend. And come around. And curve. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. I think we're improving through the week. Um, bridging. Let's go for back support. This is one that if you have any kind of knee issues or lower back issues, 
instead of doing it with straight legs, you can do with your feet on the floor. Instead of going into a reverse plank, you'll go into a reverse tabletop. Uh, fingers should be pointing towards your bum. If that's not comfortable on your wrist, just go sideways. Legs are parallel there, pointing, quads are pulling up. Now, shoulder blades are connected. You're sitting over your sits bones, rib cage pulls down. Now from here, nothing moves in your upper body, everything happens in your hips as you open the hip joint to go up into this flat position. Now same thing, only motion happens in the hip joint as you flex the hip to go down to the floor. Bum just hovers and up, and up, and up. Now check that you're not increasing your lower back extension at the top position. Check that you are not tucking in your bum to go up. So your glutes are not working that much. There's a lot of hamstring, there's a lot of abs. Now stay up with me and I want you to open up your shoulders, chest more towards the ceiling. Inhale there, on your exhale. Come slowly down. Let me just check the message. Everything's okay. Now let's move for the back leg pull. Same thing, but we're gonna kick one leg, the right leg, five times. Again, if you feel like this is too much for your supporting knee to handle, just bend the supporting leg. If you're with me, find that neutral spine. Inhale to prepare. On your exhale, go up. Now pick up the right leg. Grand battement uh, dynamic. Up and control down. Up and down. Now make sure the hip of the working leg is not sagging towards the floor. Stay up. Find your highest back support. And hinge. As soon as you touch the floor, you go back up, left leg. And up, slowly down. Up, and up, we have two more. Up, you're gonna stay up for me. More shoulder blades, more chest, and stay, and slowly down. Add a difficulty if your mat starts gliding towards yourself. Okay, let's go for our bridging section. Ooh, not this exercise. Sitting spine twist. Legs are straight with impossibility. This isn't comfortable, bend the knees or sit on something a little higher. Uh, feet are gonna be pointed. Heels are on the floor, so don't let it go into your hyperextension, but try and get your quads to fire up. Kneecaps towards your hips. You're gonna open your arms out, palms face the ceiling. Now from here, give me a little bit more lower back extension. Give me a little bit more shoulder blade connection. But your cage is down. We're gonna twist twice to the right, one, two, and find the center, alternate sides, one, two, center, and twist, center, twist, center. If you want the breath, you're gonna exhale to turn, you're gonna inhale to go to the center. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Things to think about throughout the whole exercise, you should feel that shoulder blade connection. I find it one of the biggest muscle activations of the whole exercise. Your legs should not be moving at all because your lower back is not moving. It's a ribcage rotation on top of your spine. Check that your head is aligned with your breastbone. So don't let your head go overboard. And now check. That your elbows are straight. Really hard, I find, to keep the elbows straight here. Now stay with me in the center position. Grow taller. A little bit more chin in, shoulder blades extend. Quads. Inhale to grow taller. Exhale down. And now we go for the side turn. Let's do two on our knees. Four going over and four with a twist. Uh, let's try and do it all in a row. 
If you need to move out of your mat to do the twist, I'm gonna need to do that. Uh, please take a small break to do that. Okay, remember, top leg is in front and that's gonna be your weight-bearing leg. The other one, it's there, but no weight goes there. Okay, let's start with a weight check. Put your weight on your shoulder and now push away. And this might seem exaggerated, but try and keep this distance all through the exercise, actually. Let's just do this for the sake of honesty. Okay. Now from here, two on our knees. And one. Now don't go overboard. Don't overshoot your hip. Stay with that line. And down. And up. And down. We're going to go up all the way. Make a slightly bigger stance if you need to. And up. Find this for a second. Get your tailbone a little bit forward. Open your chest. From there, go over. Find that curve. Look to the floor if you want to, but that sometimes closes this shoulder. So if you can look forward too. From there, find again that perfect line. Now bend your knees. As soon as your leggings touch the mat, you're up. And over. Oh, I'm looking. And T. And bend and up. And over, and T, and bend. Last one here, up, stay up. Do a beautiful line. And now over, do your biggest yawn here. Really try and open that side body towards the ceiling. And T, and make this change between the over and the T, and all the way down if you need to move for the twist. Now from here, remember, let's all meet at the T position. Wait, check. Now from here, nothing moves in your back. You're gonna pike your bum towards the ceiling, turn your chest towards the floor and reach under your body. Really use your supporting hand to push your spine away. Find an extension of the lower back. Now go back into your T and bend. As soon as you touch the floor, you're going up and pike your bum. Belly button's in so you are extending your lower back with the belly button's in and you open. And you bend, and up, and pike twist. One more, more, and back. We have one more here. And open, and twist, steady twist for a second. Push more, extend the lower back. And now opening your T, stay in your T for a second. Belly button in, slow motion all the way down. You're still up, you're still up, you're still up. You're done. Other side. Back onto your mats, if that's what you're doing. Two knee ones, weight, and weight check. Keep that pulling away. Not only this distance needs to stay, this needs to stay. And let's go up, and down, and up, and down. Open your stance, go for the full T. And up, go over. And again, try to look forward as you go over. Now, not only are you going to change your arms, change your body to go to a straight line and bend. Slowly, 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 and up, and over. And this is nice, so stay there a little bit. And T, less nice. <laughs> and slowly down. We have two more. Up, and over. And up. Don't let your weight go onto your bum. And up. And over. Up. Slowly down. Moving to the disc. Find your position. Do a quick weight check. And let's go for the T. Now, pike your bum. Twist towards the floor. Bend your arm to clear the floor and reach. Find the T and bend and up and hike. Find an extension of the lower back, reach a little further and come back to the T and down and up and hike. This is the second to last, I promise. And here, find a good T. Don't slack off on your T's. Last T going up and twist. Stay here a little bit. Push more with your arm, extend the lower back. Last T going down. Stay for a second. Go on forward and slowly, 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 slowly. 
way down. Good job. Back extension block, last block. So go on your stomach. We're gonna start with extension. So legs together and parallel. If you have lower back pain, open up your legs slightly. If this is still an issue, turn out your legs and work with the turnout. If you're with me, legs parallel and together. Hands are gonna be against your thighs. In your initial position, I want shoulder blades together and down, so there's space between the floor and your shoulders. Now from here, tailbone to floor, ribcage under. It's almost like you want to lift your belly button from the floor. It will touch, but try to lift it. From here, you're gonna slide your hands towards your knees to lift your chest, and down. And reach, lift, and down. Make sure your head is aligned with the rest of your spine. And make sure you still have that tailbone to floor connection. One more like this, and now we're gonna go into slow ones. And reach, stay there. Now tailbone to floor, rib cage under. Now more shoulder blades. And now keeping this connection, go higher from your middle back. And higher, and higher, and down. One more like this, and up. Tailbone to floor, shoulder blades, and go higher, 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 and down. Now three fast ones, doing this all the time. Up, tailbone, higher, and down. And up, tailbone to floor, higher, down, last one. Up, tailbone, stay. Whew. With control, shoulder blades are still together as you open your arms forward. Find a second position, and arms go. Parallel to your ears, separate your legs and lift your legs. Try and keep this hip to rib cage connection almost like you want to lift your belly button. It won't, but if you could, you would. From there, one arm up, opposite leg up, and you're going to swap and swap and swap. Keep swapping. Keep your head aligned with the rest of your spine and go slow to figure out how high can you go before you meet, you move your center. When you feel like you got it, go a little bit faster and a little bit faster. If you can, coordinate it with your breath. Five beats on an inhale, five beats on an exhale. Now check that you still have a neck, shoulder blades to bum, that your arms are straight. I find the arms really difficult here. Now, stay still. Arms and legs are straight. Belly button's in. See how high can you go with your arms and your legs. Higher. Higher, higher. Connect your legs, put them on the floor. Open your arms to second lift. Put your hands under your shoulder heads and lift. Now, if your lower back hurts, hands can come a little bit further away. Also, all the modifications we talked about with the legs as opening or turning out are available. This is your swan dive. Now, from this position, let's all go into a lower back extension. And now let's all get out of it. From here, tailbone under, and almost like you're trying to lift your pelvis even more from the floor, which means you're protecting your lower back here with your abdominals. Uh, let's just do arms. From here, forearms go to the floor, chest goes to the floor, and then see how my forearms stay up to the very last second. And up, one more, forearms down, chest down, chest up, forearms up. Now we're gonna join the legs, you're gonna keep this arch between lower back and legs as you go forward. Remember, forearms stay on the floor the whole time. Up and down, up and down. Common mistake is to lift the elbows when we go down to use more of our hands, don't let that happen. Three more here, one, legs stay straight, two, and last one. Now, we're gonna do an open arm prep. The first one, you're gonna do it as we were doing before, forearms on the floor. On the second one, you're gonna open your arm sideways. I'm gonna demonstrate once. First one is normal. Second one, you open and you catch yourself. So if you're with me, uh, first one is normal and then we do several with open arms. If you're not with me, just keep on doing the first prep. Inhale, exhale, and go down. First one is normal, second one, open, catch yourself, open, catch 
catch, open, catch. You should not be feeling this on your lower back. If you are, go back to the previous prep. Try and keep that arch constant. Lower back and legs stay together. Two more. Last one. And stay. Now keep tucking in your tailbone forward. Shoulder blades connect. Tailbone goes forward so much that your thighs lift. Keep that connection. Keep the connection. And now let go of your spine. Walk your hands closer to you. Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. Let's just do a cat stretch, but remember, we're going Pilates. So find a neutral. From this neutral, tuck under your tailbone, curve your lower back, try and keep your middle back neutral. Exhale. On your inhale, find a neutral, and now extend the upper back, but keep the lower back neutral. In, uh, exhale, neutral, and curl. Inhale, neutral. Extend upper back and neutral and curl, neutral, upper back. One more, neutral, curl and neutral. Accent your upper back. Find a neutral and from there find a rest pose. And that can be legs together, it can be legs apart, it can be hands forward or hands back. Anything that feels nice to you. Let me just turn off.